Hello and welcome to the show. It's the middle of the week. It's Wednesday and we're playing with faders. As you can see, this is the show for audio enthusiasts, people who want to make audio sound great. And my name, by the way, is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Uh, so let's get straight into it today. Uh, I'm answering a question especially for Pierre. Uh, Pierre, Pierre, bonjour from Royan in Francais. Uh, vive la France and thank you for watching, Pierre. Uh, and thank you for this question, by the way. He wants to know, Mike, what are your top five keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Audition to make us all super productive? And how can you set them up if they need setting up? Uh, that's a great question, Pierre. Uh, let's get into it then. Here is my Adobe Audition uh, preset multi-track session, by the way, with everything set up for me, uh, from processing the uh, the voice uh, with wonderful, wonderful sounds. Hang on, let's go into effects rack. So everything is, is in there. We've got buses uh, to make your audio sound good. If you want to grab the exact presets I use to produce audio, you can get them right now at mrc.fm slash presets. So let's start off with uh, shortcut keys uh, number one. And they are keys because they're all related to each other. This is brilliant. This is a, a voiceover session from Chris. Let's play it Global back. Global Trans Project. Now, as you know, space bar starts and stops, but <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that one because that's basics. Start, stop. Global Trans Spacebar, global, like that. Um, but you can shuttle through by using J K L. So if I use the L key, global trans project, and then the K key returns back. If I hit Shift X, it's gonna uh, make my cursor stop wherever I stop. Global so trans project. K will stop it there. Top tune. K and then J to shuttle back. <laughs> Top. And you can just find the exact point you want. So JKL. Top tune. Really handy to remember. And if you double click um, one of the letters like L, it will go double speed. Top tune. Global trans project. And, and again. So the more you, you click the L or the J indeed, uh, the faster the shuttle will run. And then K to stop. And then L. Global trans project. K. So JKL, your shuttle keys and spacebar obviously start, stop. But uh, I thought I would show you that all as one. So that's the first thing. Uh, and then obviously Shift X. I'm going to click that again uh, because that will make my cursor return back to where I started off from, which is the way I like it. Some people like it to stop where it stops, but I like top, top. Top. I like to re-audition uh, bits again and again, so that real that behavior works for me. So Shift X as well, uh, and that would really be the second one, changing the behavior of this here playhead. So if I click Shift X again, when I stop, Global. it stops where I was listening. Trans project picked like that, or if I if I move my playhead here and hit Shift X again, top tune, top tune. I'm returning back, so I really like that behavior. So a couple of really simple things. Let's now go into waveform and I will show you uh, uh, something I could not live without. Uh, this is uh, normalize. Now it's uh, already by default in the favorites menu, normalize to minus uh, 0.1 dB, which is fantastic. And what this will do, if I run it, it will normalize the audio right up to maximum amplitude. No compression or EQ, just normalization. Great for working in the multi-track. Uh, I like it so much, I have assigned it to hotkey N there. Hotkey N, and the way you can assign hotkeys specifically is going into keyboard shortcuts uh, and then choosing something. So this uh, kind of drop down here is uh, quick access to anything in your menu bar, really. So go into the favorites menu, look for that uh, normalized to minus 0.1 dB. There it is, hit the N key. Uh, you can see what keys are available to assign shortcuts to. So X is also available. I could say click here and hit X. Now it's assigned to X. Uh, funnily enough, X and N is also there. I can just cross out N, cross out X, go back in and assign N and then click OK. And then N will normalize anything I want it to. All right, that's three keyboard shortcuts already. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to trim easily in the multi-track. Uh, if I want to place uh, trim or cut points here, it's Command K. Command K or Control K, boom. I can easily trim around uh, the bits of audio that I want to move around, and then I can move them out into different tracks like that. So Command K, something you can't go without. Now, if you select, uh, like, say, this bit of audio here, if I zoom in and select right tightly around that piece of speech there. If I select a point and go Command K, it puts a trim both sides, which is really, really cool. So a good shortcut hotkey to know, Command K. I could go on and tell you so many more shortcuts, by the way. This is just scratching the surface here. Um, 
I'll give you for the fifth one, I will give you uh, one that I'm using all the time, adding more tracks in. It's Alt or Option A. And you can add in as many tracks as you want here. Look, tracks 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if you like playing about with buses in the uh, multi-track of Adobe Audition, Alt B is going to add you a stereo bus. So Alt A adds stereo track. Alt B adds stereo buses. So you can route loads of tracks through all of those buses. You can really make your multi-track as complex as you like and really easily just with Alt A or Alt B. And I'm determined to give you a bonus one because this is actually quite a short episode, but I think I've packed a lot into it. It's, it's a Wednesday, I'm feeling on fire. Uh, let's go back to the original waveform. Say we only want this part of the audio, right? We want to trim everything else out. Uh, trimming is brilliant. This is my bonus. Going over 5 for your Pierre in France, uh, you hit Command T, Command T will trim. And you say, uh, yes, if it's in a multi-track, I do want to affect it, and boom. It's cut out everything else and just left me with the highlighted audio behind. So, Command T. Wow, this may well, if you're watching the live stream, be one that you want to rewind on the replay. Or if you are watching the replay, you might well want to rewind and watch this again, because they are my five, no, 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 six uh, favorite keyboard shortcuts for Adobe Audition. Using them all the time. Use them regularly when I produce in my uh, my presets in my uh, multi-track uh, template uh, with everything, which I've obviously now added a lot more tracks to, th thanks to shortcuts. If you want to get my template that I use to produce audio, head over to mrc.fm/presets now and grab them for yourself. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,